Hey guys, it's Shannon. I have a really cute wreath to bring you today. I wanted something to dress up this door that is right next to our coffee bar. And I just updated the coffee bar for winter and did a whole tour on it. So if you'd like to see that video, I will link it down in the description box below and you can watch that after this video is over and see all the great cute things that are back here behind me. But I also wanted a really cute, sort of different style wreath to go on the door that's next to it that would complement each other. So today I'm gonna to show you how to create this really cute and very simple and also very inexpensive winter sweater wreath. So let's get started. Alrighty, so now let's go through the supplies I'll be using for this project. I have a sweater here and I got this from the thrift store, but I think a uh, knitted or crocheted scarf would even work for this. And then I also have a wreath from the Dollar Tree, some white duct tape, some ribbon options. I also have some jute and twine, a hot glue gun and some glue sticks, a pair of scissors, and also some wire cutters. And now to get started, I'm actually gonna cut the sleeve of this sweater off straight. So I'm gonna go all the way up to where the armpit meets the body here and just cut a straight line off and that'll make a long tube. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side as well. So we'll have two of those. And now we're gonna work on the wreath. We're actually gonna cut this apart at one of these connector lines here. And like I said, this is from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna be using some duct tape to cover up the raw ends once I cut this because I don't want them poking into our sweater or fraying the sweater at all. So this will protect those sharp edges. And I'm gonna be using some white duct tape for this because my sweater is white. You could also probably use some painter's tape or some masking tape. Use kind of what you have on hand. I went ahead and picked up this because I know it's stronger and sturdier and it'll cover up those edges and it won't poke through the duct tape so easily. So I'm gonna use my wire cutters to snip this and use the duct tape to cover up those sharp edges. If you'd like to follow along with me and get some sneak peeks of what I'm up to in upcoming tutorials and projects, you can follow me on both Facebook and on Instagram at The Daily DIYer, and I'll have those both linked down in the description box below. You can also shop my Etsy store at crossingmyheart.com. So now we're gonna work with our sweater sleeves again. And what I'm going to do is just slide the sleeves all the way around, both of them. And I'm going to make mine to where these raw edges meet. That way I can work on um, attaching these together. And now all I'm gonna do is overlap these edges here and I'm gonna re-tape them closed using this duct tape. And now I need to do some work to this raw edge here. And what I'm going to do is use some hot glue to roll the edges under and then hot glue them so it doesn't look so um, tattered like this. It'll kind of have more of a seam like this. And then I'm just gonna work my way around and then once that's together, I'm gonna to work on gluing this end together down here.
So here's a look at the seam where the sleeves were finished. I just butted those up next to each other. I didn't have to fold those over because they were already, you know, a nice finished edge. And what I want to do now is this is the top part of the arm. So there's quite a bit more fabric up here than down here where the your uh, wrists would be. So what I want to do is just take some of this and gather it in the back and glue it up. And then that's where I'm going to put my bow to cover up the seam at the top. And now it's time to work on our bow. The ribbon that I'm using is from Hobby Lobby. It was $3.99 for this roll. It's a wired ribbon and it actually was half off. So I only paid $2 for this roll. I also have some twine handy, a pair of scissors and my glue gun ready to go. And I actually have a full in-depth tutorial on how to create this bow. I will link that video down in the description box below if you'd like a more sort of detailed look at how to create it. But basically what we're gonna do is make a big circle like this, and then we're gonna meet the middles together so that we have two equal loops on each side. And we're gonna make two of those, crease the center, and then that's going to be the basis of our bow and then we'll add on tails to the end and I'll sort of speed up through this so you can see how it all comes together. This cute little wreath turned out so cute. It is so nice and cozy, perfect for winter. The bow does a great job of pulling in some of the black from the chalkboard wall on the coffee bar and still keeps with the farmhouse style. I also love that this wreath is really inexpensive and very simple to make cost under $10 in supplies and it only took about 45 minutes of time. I hope that this tutorial and cozy wreath inspired you. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up for me. You can also hit the share button that's underneath this video to share this with your friends and family and inspire them too. I am definitely more of a warm weather person versus the cold of winter but I'm embracing the season as it's here. Let me know down in the comments below, what is your favorite season? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do DIY tutorials every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I wanna thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.